Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. Time for another NBA matchup. Along with me and Son of Beast, we got a new, new uh, host here. And joining us here for the game is going to be another one. Well, I am expecting to see this one come up and pop by, but this is what everybody was really thinking of. So, we decided to bring up another one here. And this is the other player, um, the, the contestant, that we are joining here for the main part of the show of this game. It is Silver Spoon. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. What is this game? I... I don't even understand what is going on. This is the NBA show. If you'd like to be in it, just uh, come on down and uh, give us a chat here for a moment. Oh man, you know what, I'll, I'll just do it. Yeah, fine, I, uh, it looks like I would have to worry. I'm good right now. I can go for that. Why not? Uh, that's it. Silver Spoon, welcome to the uh, game here. And also, we got a great matchup here for you. Because we have another one to bring things on over and over again. We have the one special team that we are bringing it here from away to home. The next matchup is the San Antonio Spurs. And they will be playing against the other team, the Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz, kind of neat. In fact, I would have been able to be pleased about yours. I haven't heard of it before. And one of games, it's just not just enough to get there. I've always seen season two of Inanimate Sanity, and I'd like to be in here too. You're always a fan. Here are the lineups for the San Antonio Spurs. We have is Dehonte Murray, Derek White, Doug McDermott, Keldon Johnson, and Jacob Poole. And on the other hand, we of the Utah Jazz, we have is Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell. Bohan Bogdanovich, Royce O'Neal, and Rudy Gobert, the best defensive player of the game. I know that's with you. Recalling from last season, here of 2020-21, Rudy Gobert gets a great look here. I'm like even surprised about that. It's how awesome he gets. Nothing to worry about that. I was really uh, surprised into this. All that move, a lot of face off with the uh, championship in between the matchups here in the fans, but he's the best. Wow! I can't believe it! That's what I usually felt. That's all I could definitely hear about that. We're about to bring things in and try to face it off. We got a good one here to bring the city jerseys right on the court. We haven't seen them playing on here for Utah, but only a couple of them since last uh, two seasons of the decade here. The three seasons decade here. Not too much to say about that, but this is what we all called for. The last one that gets things better is to do this one of Jazz anytime again after a win against the Celtics. And hopefully this will be another one to keep an eye on. We'll, we will see what it goes like. But now let's go over to the Vimmons Home Smart Home Arena. It's Vimmons Smart Home Arena though, me phone. Get that right? Yeah, sorry. Vivint Home Smart Home Arena from Utah of, of the Salt Lake City. And we welcome you here in Utah, the Salt Lake City of Vivint Smart Home Arena of Jazz and Spurs. We got a lot of good plays here, along with Silver Spoon to be a special guest. And right now, Ali will be standing here on the sideline to take a look right ahead from each player that we have. Here's Ali. Utah Jazz have a special chemistry. Point guard Mike Conley said, quote, this team is unique in the way that we play. Everyone has bought into what we want to do on both ends of the floor. We have a defensive mindset and a physical mentality. To do that, you have to have nine or ten guys that all make plays for each other and are unselfish. All right, good stuff. Thank you so much, your rally. For Jacob Poodle, he has played a lot of it since this game for the last five games, only 65 here percent. And what do we have to hear about this one here, Silver Spoon? I have nothing to know heard about that. 
but those guys can be the only ones who will like to usually make a request. I'm definitely incomplete out of law, but nothing is worried about that. I'd like to see how Joe does for this game. We're getting ready to start here for this one, so I will take that one here off. Once you have it here, you'll give it off to you, me phone. That sounds great. So the game starts now, all fueled up and ready to go for the first half of the period. Here's Mitchell, he has definitely played here since last season after making a making a win here, trying to pick up a run, and with the start of a drive, he's Obama Janovich. What Janovich not even that group that I haven't heard of it this game before. He's doing really well. Try to keep it up. Murray on Conley. Kindly, just try, can't find Murray. I mean, Murray goes to the paint for the defensive breakdown. You can't let the defenseman uh, get right on you. If you're on offense, you know it could be a breakaway. McDonovan right to Mitchell. Mitchell try to try to go with the angle breaking, but decided to not to do it. Finds McDonovan five to shoot. Conley out it's outside and makes the three. Conley takes the first three pointer of the night as they lead up by three. What a three! How lucky! It's just an even enough how uh, Mike Conley does that really well. I've seen him quite some time. Rudy Gobert on him, and a rebound will be taken on Rudy Gobert. His first rebound. Rudy Gobert is the eighth three and making a lead here in RPG. Last uh, today's year's game, only 15.1 with the rebound. Let's see how well he can do if he can try to handle it up. Mitchell, pass right to Conley. Back to Mitchell. Mitchell outside. And he hits off the rim as Murray will take the rebound. That'll be number one. Oh, the dunk is on White. Dunk just slams it down here for, for White. And what an assist by Murray. Murray, he's definitely trying to keep it going out there. What a play. I've probably seen that one. Awesome drive. I like that. Rebound by O'Neal. Rudy Gobert almost lost the ball, but recovers the ball. Finds McDonovich. McDonovich, right to Conley. Three-pointer outside, and it's knocked away as it will be a rebound by Portal. Portal's even drive is kind of even tough about that. But not to worry, he's doing a lot of work. Right now, Jazz is up by, Jazz is trailing by one. Here's Mitchell. No score for him yet. McDonovich trying to look over it. Flipping another way is a screen on uh, O'Neal. O'Neal, touch shot, but he doesn't handle the throw. What a nice defense here. This turns out to be hard look on the rim. What a great D by Rudy Gobert, and now Mitchell comes to save the day. Here comes Gobert, makes the pass and makes the shot. Rudy Gobert gets the first bucket of the night. What a pass here. I know that was even quite the in luck I have never seen. But who would have uh, stopped him? Jazz up by one. Screen, on given out. Porto finds McDermott. Johnson outside, O'Neal on cover, three to shoot. Takes a drive and he makes it in there as it's up, back up by one. That's a good, great offense here, but you cannot let the man get right on you. If this comes up, you're going to have to try again from the top. O'Neal, right over in the paint, trying to go back to Conley. Back to Mitchell, Bogdanovich looking over. Drive in, that's good, but Donovan taking a two-point playoff. And a great drive here from, from the Jazz to pick up, back up by one. And only two minutes to go here in the first period as the score is 9-8. Free for Johnson, and that takes the lead up by a head with 11-9. to nine. First timeout called by is Utah. And that's a great help here on the communication that we've seen that those players are getting some rehydrated done. But that's a lot of work out there. And you, do, you don't see it how well they've done. And that's what they did here so far. And on the run, we need a lot of progress. I really like this play. So much, it's quite even a lot of uh, out there. Not too much to say about it, but that's 
all there is, even I'm quite the nicest. Nice. It's very hard for me to try to keep it up from one angle at a time. So we see the last game here of uh, last season in 2K21 as the Jazz beats Wizards here from this incredible game in Washington, D.C. What is the one key that the Jazz they need to have the strength on? Um, this strength was not totally enough, but Wizards definitely really had a hard time to try to keep it right on them. But those players on the other side of them don't have the right ability to keep an eye on them. And for this time, this is going to be a very, very tough matchup here if they really want the Wizards wanted to make the win. But this didn't really happen. Here's Gay. Back to Mitchell, goes to Clarkson. Clarkson will try to take the shot. First rebound. What a play here by Whiteside. And yes, Hazan Whiteside is back. And we got a turnover on Murray. Going for the attack. Defensive breakdown struggle. And what a play. That's a great help on offense for the Spurs. And guys, Hazan Whiteside is back. He was out already because of the pandemic on him. We were not sure if he's going to return to the game. What is the key here for Hassan Whiteside here, Silver Spoon? I know Hassan Whiteside, he's like, he's like incredible here in his game performance. Oh, what a play. Mitchell, in, incredible run. Oh, Hassan Whiteside, I just really, I haven't turned out to him yet the last time I was here. I was quite even a, fan, fan and, uh, a great play on him, but great to see him back. I really like him. Back with playing from the Heat, and also uh, to the Trailblazers, and it's very nice to see him return to the game. The shot was off, and Hazan Whiteside gets the first rebound. Clarkson goes the other way as, uh, as they are trailing by two. Gay. Up to Clarkson. Clarkson to Ingles. Taking a lead, Clarkson. And that's no good either. 15 seconds to go in this play of the first period. Try to look up. Rebound it. And Whiteside trying to take the lead up here. Mitchell with the lead. And doesn't hit off the bust. That will be the end of the first period as 13-11 score for the first period. We'll be right back with you for the second period after this. Thinking back from when I started, you know, overseas, summer camps, mini camps, to where I am now, you know, just an honor being in the position that I am. I'm grateful for the opportunity, so. And I can tell my story to the younger kids, just the journey, never give up. Royce O'Neal, kind of like a best one I've just seen here before. I know this uh, this internal interview is turning out to be here. He's not even quitting it. It's keeping going. Eubanks on white side as he goes up. Eubanks misses and a second third rebound on white side. Ingles trying to look forward into the possession. Mitchell in the corner. He helps Hazan white side with the screen. And going in. Oh, rejected by Eubanks. That's the first block from San Antonio. Primo off and away. What a play here for Eubanks. He's really hacking it up. And it says no serene. He gets the ball back. He really has a lot of offense to pick up the rebound. Gay okay, trying to look forward. And lost the ball. That goes on Eubanks the second time. Another turnover here on the Jazz. With five minutes left here, no score on that one. Walker the fourth, missed the three as the rebound on right side is on number four. What if you help your offense? You can't let them handle you if they want to make the three or not. Mitchell, ties high. Oh, he knocked it again! Another one for Jazz and with a turnoff walkway. And let's have a look. One more play on those two guys. Which one is it? I think that's a close call. That, it looks like Eubanks was trying to knock him out. But those two guys, that was like a close call. I don't even see which one gets that. If it's Eubanks or Murray. And new changes are here coming along as Rudy Gobert comes back in. Fine. 
James Clarkson. Makes a good pass by Joe Ingles. Right now tied up by 13. What a play here. Here's another offensive look here for the San Antonio. Eubanks trying to pick up a screen and on the roof, goaltending will be on Rudy Gobert. Two-pointer will count for San Antonio. And now new changes here for San Antonio. That's wild to get, but you can't let the ball get right in there if you are going to have to try that one again. All over it, and for some reasons you can't even get allowed with the player to go right in. Right now the first call, kickball violation on San Antonio. We haven't seen that, we haven't heard that call, but we've got one now. Robert, try to look over it. Finding is O'Neal. What a play! O'Neal gets to the number basket and assists by Robert. Oh man, can't they lose him out of here if you try to keep him run on score. Johnson on O'Neal. Screen rejected. Gobert, what a heavy contested shot and a great D and turn around the other way. McDonovich throws it in. Makes a dunk and the play is up and two. Oh, McDonovich. Oh, oh, oh. I love this one race so much. I really like that. That was the incredible score. Jazz up by two. Screen. Oh, cut him off that point. Finds pull. White in the corner on Conley. Knocked away. Shot. Doesn't handle the buff. McDermott for three. And it's no good for San Antonio. McDermott misses the first three pointer. Finds Gobert. Goes right to Ingles. Goes back to Conley. They're all chanting, let go, Jazz, go. Donovich up. Doesn't get there and there as McDermott takes the rebound. Great call on the offensive on that side. I would really like to see how this turned out to be a good thing. McDermott on O'Neal. Now he goes right to Johnson. Johnson, have he shot? And again, Borlo. Trying to hurt him. And oh man, we got a tough battle for the rebound. That's two on Portal and a grab back by Gobert. And let's talk about San Antonio as they already walked already had faced a loss against Miami Heat. What is your take here for Miami Heat as they put a beat here? on San Antonio Spurs in the 2014 NBA Finals. Well, that's my only kind of decision here. Most plays are definitely not well enough as I can try to like configure the in between the matchups. If Spurs were to have win, then they definitely did not win. If the Miami Heat wins down that one on the other side, then we know we would have a bigger problem. My time is great. I agree with you with me, phone. It's definitely not to get well enough how I can get there. But it's, but it's fantastic how this play turns out. And yes, they were the 2014 NBA champions of the team for San Antonio Spurs. We're on, we're on a minute and a half here. No score yet. And open. Oh, Bortle buys that again. And he goes back to back with the insane score. Conley facing up the other side, he finds Bogdanovich. Up and over pass is rejected. Johnson takes a steal. Another turnover on the Jazz, and inside, Gobert with the nine, the shot. He goes with, get out of my way. Well, nice play by Rudy Gobert. What a, what a hustle. That's your best defensive player of the year. We're in a season, and it's just incredible. What a block. I'm definitely in front of this one with this guy. Rudy Gobert, he's definitely really well. But I'm assuming you might have to uh, watch, the, watch the foul he gives. Quiet on Conley. Screen on Portal. Try to go back into it, and he takes the lead. White picks up another dunk here as San Antonio leads by two. Mitchell, Gobert, 
Oh, he rammed around it. Gobert drives the other way and says, no turning back, slop shot. If you look on the, if you look that way, that's my goal. Here's Murray. Murray dunks it through, and we got a heavy slam dunk competition here in a regulation game. Mitchell. Trying to look forward here. We got 33 seconds left. Double man on him. Ingles. Three on Conley. Doesn't hit that time as McDermott rebounds the ball. Tries to go again. Ingle on him. Watching the paint here. Oh, go fair! The second block in a row! Deep three, Mitchell, and he's got it! Mitchell makes a first three-pointer, we're up by one, and the Spurs will have to leave it off from here, trailing by one. What a play this comes out. I have never seen this one making an expression. Oh my moments. With the score 22 21, we'll have to take it from here from Alley. Coach Quinn Snyder and Coach are getting stops in the first half. What do you attribute to that? Well, we're playing hard, scrambling, picking up our effort, trying to be precise and disciplined and talk, and not resting on our morals anymore. Hopefully, you can remain active on the defensive end in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Allie. We'll be right back after this one, so don't go anywhere. It will be right back after this break. And now, let's have your first look here, a recap, our first half of the game, to show you what is happening here. Here for the first half. Thanks for stopping by. Let's go back to the game. And we'd like to welcome you back here in Utah, the Salt Lake City, as Jazz lead up by one over the San Antonio Spurs. And your quick thoughts here from San Antonio Spurs. The player that we talked about it before is Kendall Keldon Johnson, putting up seven points, two rebounds, and one assist. What is your take on here for Johnson? Uh, my take for this one is when this guy gets a, a lot of great rebounds here after he played last season, he was just enjoying it. And so far, so good. So, yeah, I guess uh, I guess Johnson's doing really well. And how about you, there, Silver Spoon? What do you think of the uh, kill of Johnson taking it from here? My aggressive is not even worried. But it's turned out. I have never seen this one quite so often as I was kind of like a nice dog. I wasn't able to uh, see what play this turned out, but it's like, how amazing this is. I guess I have to pay the bet on him. Mitchell can't hit the three-pointer and we are ready to go for the second half of the period. Runs away! Johnson! Oh my goodness! He gets her out of it. He says, see you later, folks. Yeah, there's the drive that you see here. Finds McDonavich. A great pass by Mitchell, and they are up by one. McDonavich has eight in the point. And eight points in this game, including the paint. Portal and Gobert. Johnson back on O'Neal. We're under five minutes left here to play. Try to fade him. Murray, fine on Conley. With the three, and he can't handle it as this goes back the other way from Utah Jazz. Mitchell passes up, Dolls deflected, and it will keep Jazz ball. What a play this turned out, and I guess that was uh, Murray that took out from here. Let's, have, let's see, Walker the fourth, I'm sorry about that. No, that was Eubanks. 
That was a close call here, Mifo, but no cigar on that one here. It was Eubanks, two blocks in a row. I expect a lot of all this happening, yes. I wasn't even quite seeing this play when it's all turned out. I have no uh, comments about that, but that's how all it goes. Right side to Clarkson. Fighting the screen will be Hazan right side. Clarkson up and that left. Rebounder is off again too early on Hawaz on right side. And they're coming back the other way. Murray and no problem here as they will pick up by three. And, and that'll be Vassell with the assist. Vassell, he's not going anywhere. He's leaving us here with the team. But you can't leave it alone like that. Back over, Conley. Conley trying to face it off. Finds Clarkson. Mitchell with the carry screen. Three-pointer, Conley. And it doesn't hit that time. Another rebound by Eubanks. And they are missing too many shots here. And in the meantime, we have another missed shot for the three-pointer. Mitchell, right to white side. White side to Clarkson. Only 3.20 left to play here in the third quarter. And count it! That's Mike Conley's another bucket. And that will be Benches Dope. First foul on San Antonio. Great play here for Mike Conley. Uh, offensively better aggressive here on offense. And he will have to go to the free throw line to here to shoot two. What a play this turned out. As for this instant, they are going to get close enough to tie this one. So whenever there is, there will be one. Knocks down in the free throw line and he will take up a tie. So far the score has been raising up here in between those teams, but we don't know who had it. I, there is a special one. I've seen a lot of plays here for San Antonio. That was like an aggressive run. This turned out to be a one incredible uh, performance out there. But not too much is happening. White side back out. White side. He hasn't really scored anything, but only picked up the buckets here. And a rebound, we check it off. Murray taking it another way as it will be running down by 235. He holds up, and with no call on that play, that will be another bucket for San Antonio. I like the aggressive out there is it turns out to be another forceful drive. Nothing else her worried about me any other way. Finally, yay. Mitchell for three. Doesn't bite the dust as Eubanks rebounds the ball. Gay on him. And rolling back in there. No, no foul called on Utah Jazz with two minutes to remain in the third quarter. Right over to Clarkson. The cell up on its attack. Murray. Walker the four for Mitchell. Finds Ubanks on Conley. Shot no good. White side with the rebound. They're picking up again. Yay, still on a run. Three-pointer Clarkson. And it's missed again. That'll be another out-of-bounds call on San Antonio Ball. They're making too many cold shots. Those other players are coming back. I agree. Most of those players definitely really, really got to hydrate it up, and they are they are attacking. They really want to stop the Jazz on that perform. Also on Rudy Gobert here too. They got to watch out for him. Minute and twin, ten to go. Trying to make a steal for Mitchell, but doesn't able to get it. Three seconds to shoot. And it's way deep, and it's the rim, doesn't call for the air ball. Ingles up, and a foul called on San Antonio. That will be Vassell's first, second team foul. 
With only 52.6 seconds, they're trying to find another way to get back in the game. Joe Ingles heading into the free throw line. A lot of takes on him. His performance on this run has turned out to be incredible. How well he has done here in the playoff session after with the loss in the second round against Los Angeles Clippers. We're sure we're glad to be glad to help them out. But for Lord Hinson, that'll be a lot of time to bring him in. Three three players are checked in for San Antonio, McDermott, Johnson, and Portal. And the other side, Gobert is checked back in on white side. McDonovich and O'Neal are checked back in, and Ingles will have to swap it from shooting guard. And that's two in a row for Joe Ingles as they're up by two. Coming in by two, I meant. 50 seconds to remain in that third quarter. Primo up on Boyle. Oh, quick pass! What a drive and finish on White! And they are back up by three. You can't leave him a man alone like that. If you really like to take the play, you got to take the coverage. O'Neal outside. McDonovich. Goes right over to Ingles. McDonovich can't find anybody. He has shown up with no three to possess. Primo up. And Mitchell finally answers it back. Takes the first steal, first turnover on San Antonio. And Ingles, can he take it? No, he cannot. That's the end of the third quarter, and a lot of defensive is putting up a rush here for San Antonio. The score is 33 to 29, and we'll have to find out who will take the lead. I have no question about that. This is going to be a very tricky matchup. Third quarter ended, four quarters coming up after this. And a chance now to show you the State Farm Assistant Big Game. We saw that earlier. I have always quite imagined that this play is turning out even outstanding. And without even uh, without even questioning, it was white. A lot of plays here on San Antonio, but too much close call on the Jets. I also agree. Most plays can definitely really be harmed. But it's not going to be enough for them if they are trying to make a score. And what a play here for Mitchell taking the first steal. That's a lot of great play. Gobert wasted no time but doesn't hit the bucket. Has a great rebound by Portal or Murray. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, Gobert! Another block in a row. You get jazzed up here. steal by the Jazz. That's O'Neal's first steal of the game. Ingles. Back up to Mitchell. And going in. Oh! <laughs> wow! Mitchell says, don't leave me hanging. I always got it covered here. See ya. Kaboom! That's the best play we have ever seen here on me, Phone Silver Spoon. <laughs> oh, I know. This is quite this fantastic. Oh, wow. Another block here by Gobert. Wow, what a play. And another dunk performed on Mitchell. They're tied up now. Mitchell, two dunks. No questions asked. Four blocks on Gobert. What a drive this turned out. Unbelievable. 440 remain in the fourth quarter, trying to look up for the run. And no contest shot here for San Antonio as Gobert goes back the other way with 430 gone by. Mitchell, bounce pass to O'Neal. Right over to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich scups it up, but doesn't able to hit that one. For the lead, Ingles. And doesn't hit that one as Portal with the rebound. Primo up on Bogdanovich. Trying to help the defender up, but doesn't able to hit. Primo up. Still cold. Ingles back the other way. Mitchell finds Gobert. And Ingles will have to try to face another way in the lead. Oh, he does it again! We got a 
a great player on the trial of Dogs, Ingles, Mitchell, and Gobert. Next timeout called by San Antonio with 3.39 to go. Oh yeah, all the Jazz fans are like raising up pressure here. Here are taking notes. I are telling the San Antonio Spurs to pick up the notes. And without no questions asked, I can tell you that. That city core was just like sick. So with that, we got a great play in between those guys without Memphis Grizzlies with the loss against Miami Heat. This was a big devastation of the game on this turned out. What is the configuration statable scores from between the Grizzlies and Heat? I think this might be very hard to me. You're trying to figure this one out. But not too much is handled here so far, as it's quite the nicest. They also caught going to be a lot that dirty, and I wouldn't hear anything about that. If this happens here, then we got a bigger problem. I think there might be another one to get to try to help the Memphis Grizzlies shut down on that Miami Heat side if they want to keep it going. And I'm expecting that one here too. If, they, if, if this happens to uh, to me, what I can describe it a little bit more better at the uh, at this one, last game, this call, I was expecting that uh, great play from Miami Heat. They would have gotten another win here and try to get back in the uh, game. Right now, the first foul called on Joe Angles. That will be, be Utah's first team foul for the fourth quarter. So, as for that one, it will be Joe. It will be Joe Joseph Portal hitting two free throws at the free throw line, and the Jazz will have to try to answer it back. First free throw is off and missed away. Wayne Schneider, he really gets it right into this part and really tries to keep the team alive here and a defenseman. But you can't let the defensive get into a breakdown. This comes out, that goes on you. And he hits, missed the second free throw, and this will be a 3.30 to play here in the fourth quarter. Wow, two miss on here. I was shocked here. I thought he made that one in there. But he has to keep trying with the free throws to get better. Conley, back to O'Neal. Right over to Ingles. Conley, facing up with a shot. Makes it in! And that's another bucket for Ingles. No, it's this time Ingles and another bucket on Conley. Three minutes left here in the fourth quarter as this will be 37-33 lead. And we got a foul. That will be on Rudy Gobert. And that's the second team foul on Utah. This hard play, and that turns out to be one big problem in the mess. Well, that's going to be really a, a lot of foul trouble here for those players who uh, try to uh, attack. Nothing is moving and for incomplete great law. Two free throws are up. As it will be uh, it will be another uh, distraction if you can try to help him out. His first shot missed. Johnson um, has definitely uh, done a great play here that far. Did a couple dunks. And what's your guys uh, take for Johnson? Johnson is definitely uh well he is. I we've We've seen a lot of great, uh, great dunks. It would have been mine. He would have been in the All Star, but it would be. But it's too soon to uh, to think about even more. Wow! Another two missed free throws on San Antonio players. First on Portal, second on Johnson. Both guys didn't make it. O'Neal right up into it. Harley up on Mitchell. Mitchell with a drive force. Attacking, doesn't hit the bucket. And another turn off play for San Antonio to try to look back into it. Walker to four from Mitchell. Drives, up forward, hits the rim. Another miss by San Antonio. Those schools can be definitely tough. And it doesn't even work that way if they are looking for another one to fight it off. O'Neill for three. 
angle as this turns out to be another miss three pointer for Utah Jazz. Under two minutes to play here in the fourth quarter, here's Murray. Looking over it, and a drive. Not to handle pressure here on number bucket for the, the best play. Timeout call by Utah Jazz with a minute and 49 to go. And we will have to sit, and we will step aside after this break. For, for Silver Spoon and Mifo, it scores now 37-35. Here's your New Balance Player of the Game. And this one goes out to the best player it gets, Deontay Murray. Deontay Murray gets a lot of uh, great shots here. And this basket doesn't really have to worry about all the pressure he has. Great rebounds, great pass-offs, the bounce pass, and sometimes even the chest pass. I agree. Deontay Murray really has done a great job here, but he was trying to help him out. He has to see if this team can win the game over to put the upset score on the other team. O'Neal for three. Good! And it will be up by... I'm sorry, up by five. Timeout, San Antonio. It will be a minute and 38 to play here. And the best shot has ever gotten better. We got a great players here. I, I, I honestly get, can't say about this one. This is like a best play that has ever been more than every day we had. I love this one so much here. This great play is not even had to worry about myself. I I, I honestly expect this is turning out to be a good good rebound here. Yeah? Not too much is always that pressure. What a play to send out. Here are the team comparisons. We have 35 points for San Antonio Spurs and 40 for the Jazz. 23 rebound on Spurs and 27 on Jazz. 10 assists and 15 assists here for the Jazz. Five steals only turned it off to be San Antonio, then two steals and four blocks for the Jazz. Five turnovers on the Jazz. Only two blocks and two turnovers to have it even up. Concerns. They are back on the court, and both teams have last timeouts to give. Next score will have to be a final timeout. And making the bucket in there doesn't have to worry about it at all. They're up by three. Trailing by three, I meant. Minute and a half to go. O'Neal. Pass off to Clarkson. Up again, Conley. O'Neal. Clarkson. Inside, makes it in! Clarkson gets four points and they're up again to take another run. Clarkson, he's really well at it. A lot of good points, a lot of good pressures. Oh, Deontay Murray, right over to Johnson, and Murray going back the other way. We have one minute to go to close the regulation time. And a great rebound by Gobert! What a play this turned out, oh my. I can't honestly stand this. This is like the best play that we've seen. Oh, go bear, are you kidding me? What a this play this turned out, oh my. <laughs> you can't mess up an end, the go bear guy. He's like all over it. That's how we finish the party. Murray trying to step up forward and another miss. Porto goes back the other way. Johnson, 30 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. And, oh, the dunk has went through. And that turned out to be McDermott to be another typing run. And now the last timeout will be called on Utah Jazz with 26.4 seconds. And Greg Popovich, the head coach from the Spurs, really has to try to come up with a different plan and try to stop the attacker on the run. And let's say, let's have a quick one more discussion at this point. How does the Jazz keep up the play here every time they have that score and keep the run off from alive? Well, this is like the only tough games that they really had to face off. And for showing off what is more important though, that we have never done it before, it's going to be very hard to find, uh, to find the other guys who are right up on your attack. What they really got to do is try to they try to look for your man, stop reaching out, 
and try to get right into the bottom of the brown. And, we'll, and my suggestion on this one, we have to try to uh, keep it right in the, uh, in the lineup. Try not to get uh, mistakes, try to uh, keep an eye on them. And if so, get well on it. Might be a much, much better go if they try to keep, get it through well. And the foul will be called on to Devante Murray. That will be first, first team foul. And White will have to check in for Walker to fourth. Next possession will be the last one to give it out. And that will be a foul on McDermott. And it will be one, two free throws for the Jazz to pick it up. Mike Conley at the free throw line. Mike Conley taking two shots. the first free throw in. And don't forget, we got the all-star of the NBA coming your way on this game. That will be happening a couple weeks late uh, for this month of February. That will be another one to get things off after the NHL all-star. And definitely the last time I will be called by San Antonio. Guys, this has been a great game here in between the Jazz and Spurs. I um, honestly can't believe that this is like the best play ever. Without any adoptions, Rudy Gobert four blocks, and Mitchell and O'Neal have both got a steal without the foul call here on the reach. And I have ex ever expected that this was ever going to happen like they've done it before. What is your take, guys? I like that. That's the best play we have ever seen here before. And sometimes the New York showdown was just like a crushable win, crushable uh, scores, crushable shots, and, and unbelievable moments. I don't know what to say about this, but this is like amazing. And we have OJ here, that's quite amazing. Yeah, I need to play here too. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect that, but it's going to be a very amazing score. I like you, this game here, folks. Well done, you son of a I think you deserve it much more here on the broadcast. Thank you here so much, dear Silver Spoon. I really appreciate it. And any time. Walker for three. This again, and that will do it. The Jazz will close this off here in the fourth quarter. And Conley will try to fix things up here. Your final score as keeping things up here again and again. And Mike Conley closes it off, and that does it. 46 to 39 is your final score as Jazz picks up another winning streak here after they won against the Wizards last season. And for more on that point, they definitely had it all. And another losing streak here on San Antonio Spurs. With the finishing off, here's Kelly. Congrats on the win. What's it like playing with a team that is this tied together? Sally, and without being said, we can agree to thank you for watching for this video of the best Western Conference matchup of Spurs and Jazz. We'd like to thank everybody who is watching for this part on the regular season game on TV, and most importantly, all our commentators. Now, let's present the three star players of the game. Let's go ahead and start us off here, Silver Spoon. Why don't you give it off here first? Um, exactly. I think I think it's a good idea. Thank you so much. For number three, we have def we have gotten a great place out there. It's just how incredible this turned out to be. Here's their performance out there, without any questions of the score. With that, it all turned out to be just one length at a time. Here's Devon Dehante Murray. The ultimate New Balance player of the game, receiving out here 10 points, 3 assists, and 3 rebounds. Only one dunk has performed, and that turned out to be a heavy contest shot. How this all turned out, it's quite amazing. Let's give it off to Mephone. What's your second uh, player? 
Um, the second one of number two turned out to be just more when I had. I seen that Mike Conley put a, a stunning on his performance run. Ten points, two rebounds, one assist, and only uh, one turnover to bring, bring it out. I guess this play is turning out to be great. And your take on number one, uh, Son of Beast, who do you got? What is it going to be? <laughs> I have speculately got no choice here. I have in the range in between Mitchell and Bogdanovich, but I say the winner of number one being the best play is Rudy Gobert. I'm telling you this one here. Rudy Gobert made an amazing four blocks, two dunks, and an incredible score of 10 rebounds. This is like a new record we put it up here. It looks like he's the best defensive player of the game. I totally agree. Much more that you can handle, there is definitely one. Tall man, you can't get rid of him. If there's a better mascot, that's on him. I really like this guy so much. He's on a he's on a doubtable run here, player. And I expected here yeah, that's a great uh, performance run. I like it too. So that's it for the three stars of the game, along with me, Mephone, and Silver Spoon. Silver Spoon, thank you for joining us here for the game, and you may head back to your uh, contestants on your team. So take care, of the, uh, Silver Spoon, and yours too. Take safe hand in my plan, as I wish. Grant myself. I will do. Always and simple. And for that, the voting counts for the Inanime Insanity Invitational. We currently are putting a calculation up here while MeFone is trying to like take the total of the votes from combining episodes in one, two, three, four, five, or six to bring things in if there is a choice to try to bring it back in. And for those of you who are watching the NFL, we like to congratulate the Cincinnati Bengals and a, tight, and a tight team making a run all the way for the home team that will be playing here at SoFi Stadium or Sophie Stadium, whatever you like to pronounce that call. The LA Rams, they're on their way to Super Bowl 56. And as for being said, Winter Olympics, I hope you enjoy your favorite event on your TV and your favorite uh, athlete for more and often. And for being said, thank you all for so much for watching. And until next time, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22. And this has been a presentation of the NBA. More infos of us, check out the other videos in the playlist below. And until then, we'll see you all on the next game. Me phone, Silver Spoon, and Beast are gone. Take care, folks.